Hi folks, I'm from GalaxyNote3Root.com and also GalaxyS5Root.com for this week's round week for the Sprint Note 3 and the Galaxy S5. Check out the latest version of More ROM. Uh, this is actually a ROM for the Sprint S5, uh, but it has been ported to the Sprint Note 3. It's the exact same ROM, so I'll just go ahead and use this one. The only thing this one does not have is the S5 camera. Uh, because the developer actually took it out because it was uh, having some bugs there so you get the Note 3 camera but otherwise it turns your Note 3 into an S5 um, so let's go ahead and look at some of the ba uh, things that this bad boy can do uh, download booster, Wi-Fi calling uh, hotspots actually not working on the Note 3 version but it is working on the S5 version it should be fixed shortly uh, later down the road um, also there is power saving mode, ultra power saving mode. This also works. This is great. Uh, I have 39%. I'll be able to go 4.8 days. That's huge. Uh, you probably don't need to use it because the Note 3 has a big battery, but uh, you know there are times where you may need to use it. Um, so just keep it in mind. This ROM has it, and uh, you know it will turn your phone into a black and white uh, dumb phone sort of. Well, you can still use the browser and a couple apps like the calculator, uh, take phone calls. But it'll definitely save you a ton of battery life. And you can go simply go ahead and turn it off um, if you don't want to use it. And this ROM is really cool. It comes with 15 different TouchWiz themes. Also, TouchWiz launcher on this ROM is super fast uh, on both the S5 and the Note 3. Um, so one of the reasons why custom ROMs will fix a lot of the problems you may have uh, with uh, stock firmware. There we go. Very, very fast. And also you get a nice pull up here that you can set to any shortcut you want. I have it set to my Google Maps here. And the coolest part about this ROM is the quad multi-window. That means you can open four different multi-windows at the same time. So let me go ahead and demonstrate that real quick. Whoops. You'll have to make sure it's in one of the smaller quadrants. There we go. And let me go ahead and adjust this. And I'm also going to put my contacts over here. And now I have four different windows I can work with. Um, this one also supports a uh, multi-instance for the browser, which means uh, normally you can only open, um, you know, you can only use one browser per window. Uh, you have to, you have to use like Chrome, you have to use Dolphin and the stock browser to actually get three. But with this ROM, the stock browser has been hacked, so you can use the same browser with four instances. This is you know, useful because if you have like bookmarks in one browser, then you can access all of them here. Um, and also Chrome, um, not Chrome, but uh, that makes it easier for you to actually make use of the multi-window if you're using a lot of browser stuff. You know. But uh, it also works for everything else. So very nice stuff. That's one feature, you know, I know it may help some of you out there. Other than that, um, this ROM does have UI customizations. It has its own thing called More Mod Control, which you'll be able to find near the top somewhere. Oh, there we go. Uh, More Mod Control there. So go ahead and click there, and you'll be able to customize everything from your status bar, battery icon. You see that I have a custom uh, everything here. This is all a little messy here, but uh, let me go ahead and explain. Status bar, a custom clock, you can go ahead and move it to the right or to the center. The reason why it's messed up is um, because I have too much stuff here and also my uh, network speed is getting in the way. But once I get rid of that, then I can put it back into the center clock. And also you can change the clock color. Um, make sure you turn off alpha, all right? And a bunch of stuff you can do. Change all of the colors. Battery icon, you can go ahead and change to gauge battery if you want. I got a gauge there. Also pull down options, um, custom carrier text if you want it, if you don't want Sprint on there. Lock screen options, you'll be able to enable ink effects, AOSP lock screen, enable lock screen rotation, power menu, um, make sure you go ahead and add flashlight and screenshot so you'll have extra menus there. So very nice stuff. Uh, notifications, and uh, additional notifications you can set. And one of the important things about this ROM, make sure you go to uh, more mod control and go to miscellaneous in mods when you install it. Uh, enable recent apps button and also set this to long press or double tap if you want to. 
and that will allow you to actually access recent apps because this ROM by default does not have a recent apps button but you can do that easily using the uh, more mod controls a bunch of more stuff you can do um, definitely play around with it but overall it is a very fast ROM um, really love it on both the S5 and the Note 3 the, on the S5, I've actually been using it. This is one of, my, one of my favorite ROMs, one of the best ROMs for the Sprint Galaxy S5. And now it has been fully ported to the Note 3. So you can get all the features on the S5 on your Note 3. And if you have an S5, you can also enjoy all the features, customization, themes on the S5. Did I show you the themes? Um, just in case I forgot, let me go ahead and show you to that again. Go here, go to themes. You can go ahead and switch your phone into anything you want since HCC Note 3. Anyway, um, check it out for this week's round week for the Note 3. And if you're still on the older version, there's a new version 2.1 for the Galaxy S5. And do let me know what you think. And as always, if you have a Galaxy S5, um, don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxys5root.com. If you have a Note 3, subscribe to my email list at galaxynote3root.com. And as always, stay on Android. Yeah.